What's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and it's definitely been a long time coming, but Apple is finally allowing emulators to hit the Apple App Store, and this is really awesome. I know we've been doing this for a very long time on Android, and of course, when it comes to emulation on the iPhone or the iPad, we've been able to jailbreak, and there's also third-party stores like Alt Store that we can kind of sideload apps signed by our own developer ID. But we've never really been able to officially download emulators directly from the App Store until now. And in the last week, there have been a couple emulators that popped up. They were kicked off, not because Apple didn't want them on the App Store, but because they were using emulators that really weren't their own or they didn't have permission to use within their app. But today, we're going to be taking a look at the Delta emulator. And this is not new. This used to be known as GBA for iOS. And it's kind of been the Swiss Army knife for emulation on iOS for a very long time in the jailbreak scene and the alt store scene. Basically, with this new version of the Delta game emulator on the App Store, we're going to be able to do NES, Super Nintendo, N64, Game Boy Color, regular Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS. More will be added down the road. I'm really hoping to see some higher-end emulators. But this is just starting on iOS, at least officially, in the App Store, and I really kind of hope it opens up the floodgates for higher-end emulators. I'd love to see PPSSPP come to the App Store, and especially RetroArch. That would be really awesome. So I figured for this video, since it's a bit early with this emulator being released on the App Store, I'd do a quick startup guide. This is going to get you up and running with a lot of the emulators that Delta supports right now. And if you want to get this up and running, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I've just swapped over to my iPad to make it a bit easier to see everything. And obviously the first thing we're going to need here is the emulator. So we can head to the App Store, search for Delta Game Emulator. I'll also leave a link for it in the description. We're going to download it. Now that we've got it downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up. Obviously, we don't have any games, doesn't come with any games whatsoever. From the main menu, we've got a Learn More button. I personally recommend checking this out. Lots of great information over on the Delta website. From the front page here, it's going to tell you the accepted formats for each one of these systems. For instance, NES is .NES, SNES is .SMC, .SFC, or .FIG, Game Boy, .GB, and so on and so on. This is just going to give you a good reference on what kind of games are going to be supported here. Now I'll tell you, I did test out a few Zip games, and a couple of these emulators do support it. It does work but I would just recommend go ahead and unzip everything you have. Moving down, checking out the settings. Lots of great information here. There's also a troubleshooting section down at the very bottom. We're going to go back to Delta. From the top left-hand corner, little gear icon, controller skins, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS. You can customize the appearance of each system, but I'm going to leave it just like that. Controller opacity, 70%, respect silent mode. And when it comes to Nintendo DS on this, you will need a BIOS. Actually, you're going to need the three BIOS files that Melon DS uses, because this is using the Melon DS core. BIOS 7.bin, BIOS 9.bin, firmware.bin. Can't tell you where to get them, but they're really easy to find. I'm just going to leave it at that. And now we need to get some games in here. I would highly recommend ripping your own carts, but what I want to show you here is just a homebrew demo that we can actually get up and running really quickly. And the link for this will be in the description. We're going to open up a browser and head over to the goodboygalaxy.com website. So you can buy the game, but they do have a demo that actually works with emulators. It's a .gba file. We're going to get the demo. Download. It's going to take me to the downloads. There's three here. We want the second one. Good Boy Galaxy demo for GBA ROMs only. And this is going to download Good Boy Galaxy from all the languages that they have right now. We're just going to download up here. You can see that it's finished downloading. If you're looking to do a lot of emulation on your iPhone and iPad now that we've got emulators coming to iOS, I would highly recommend getting used to the file manager built in. And it's just called Files. From here, I'm just going to check on my iPad. I downloaded this natively. This will also connect to your iCloud drive, so you can actually upload stuff to, let's say, from your PC if you're signed into iCloud, and it'll show up here. You can download it, transfer between the two. On my iPad, I've got a Downloads folder, and here's my Good Boy Galaxy demo that we just downloaded, .gba. It's actually zipped up right now. We don't really have a way to extract this on the iPad, but luckily, 
when we open up Delta and import that game, we're just going to choose the plus icon up here, files. It's going to bring me right to the download section. Good boy galaxy. Open. And there we have it. So we've got all of the languages. We can delete the ones that we don't want. Or if you wanted to download this on a PC, extract it, just use the English version or whatever language you speak. So we're going to go with the EN version. And we're playing our first game. Now, obviously, this is a demo and uh, it's actually a really awesome game. But it's that easy to get up and running with the new Delta emulator. And for most of these, you don't have to do anything at all. You don't need any BIOSes except for DS, at least at the time of making this video. This runs on real Game Boy hardware if you were to get the cartridge or just the ROM itself with a flash cart. Highly recommend checking it out, at least the demo. And then if you really enjoy the game, you can support the developer and buy the full version. So that's our first game. We're going to choose the menu icon. We can save, load, enter cheat codes, fast forward, or we can use the hold button here. Just going to save, add a new save. It's going to give me a nice little screenshot there. Main menu, and there we go. So obviously that was just a quick setup. Got you up and running with a demo, kind of give you an idea on how to import everything. But if you want to go a little further with it, it's actually really easy with the Delta emulator. I'm going to open up my files and I've already transferred some games over to this iPad. I've also got them on my iPhone. You can do it using a Mac or Windows, or you could just upload it to your iCloud from a Windows PC. And then from here, use your iCloud drive. It's up to you. Mine are already on the iPad. I've just created a folder called Delta Games. Got some DS, Game Boy, GBA, N64, NES, SNES. Heading into my NES folder, you can see they're .NES files. So I've got a bunch of them here. What we're going to do is open Delta back up. We want to go ahead and import those games. Little plus icon, files. We're going to import some N64 games. So on my iPad, remember I created that folder already, transferred it over, Delta Games. N64, we're going to select one of these, and then at the very bottom, we can select all. Choose Open, and it automatically downloaded box art for me. So this is really great. And let's say you don't like the box art or you want to change it yourself. We can long press on a game. You can rename the game, change artwork, photo library, so if you've downloaded some, or we can use the game's database. There we go. But yeah, this is really cool that it automatically downloads that box art for us. Now you may run into having a bunch of games that don't scrape correctly, and it really comes down to the naming convention. So you may need to rename those games, or you could manually input each one if you wanted to. And from here, we can go ahead and start up a game, Clay Fighters. Obviously, the on-screen buttons are self-explanatory, and I actually like the way they've got most of these emulator control schemes set up. And yes, it does support landscape mode and controllers. I've just got an Xbox controller connected to Bluetooth on this iPad. All of my on-screen buttons disappeared because it knows I'm using a real physical controller in hand. I didn't have to worry about any kind of button mapping with this Xbox controller. And yeah, I mean, this is really simple to get up and running. Since the release of Delta to the official App Store, I've been messing around with it quite a bit. Now, I've run into a few graphical glitches with N64. There are some configs that we can actually change around. I will be doing an in-depth tutorial coming up real soon, getting some of those N64 games working. And really, one of the reasons I wanted to make this quick kind of setup guide was just in case this gets kicked off the App Store. We already had one GBA emulator get kicked. So I'm going to wait about a week, and I'm sure we will get some updates to Delta, probably see a few more emulators added here and there. It's pretty awesome to see emulation officially coming to iOS, and personally, I can't wait for PSP, some PlayStation 1, and maybe even on up from there. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Links for everything I mentioned are down below. And like always, thanks for watching.